What is up? It is Bolin. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to try and film this video as quietly as I can because it's late here so people in my house are asleep. So forgive me if I'm not talking loudly and getting very excited but as I said people are asleep and I'm going to get bollocked if I shout, scream, be loud in any way. So this might be a little bit more of a type of ASMR type drama video. I'm really not sure but I've got some stuff that I really wanted to get into in this video. I saw a few things going off online that I actually really wanted to talk about this week and I've been at work so I'm kind of just trying to work out an upload schedule still where I can sit down and make videos in glam, you know, after work and stuff. So I'm doing this all around my job at the moment. I'm on a lot of lates so forgive me if I'm not uploading as frequently as I was before. But we need to talk about Todrick Hall. Todrick Hall is in the poo, the caca, once again. And this time it's his finances. Todrick Hall. Now Todrick Hall is kind of a controversial character, I think. You know, yeah, probably like a lot of Drag Race fans love Todrick Hall. You know, all of that. But Todrick is actually pretty controversial. Todrick got in a lot of trouble recently when he was in the Big Brother house for saying that he scripts his cameo and basically just reuses the same script over and over and over again. And the only thing that he changes is the person's name that he's sending the cameo to. Every other word is exactly the same. There was a clip going around online that that exact thing, Todrick was caught red-handed in the Big Brother house. Then there were also more clips of Todrick talking about Manila Luzon and a Halloween party, about how Manila had allegedly said, oh, Todrick didn't pay me, and there were some dancers, some black dancers, who alleged that Todrick didn't want them standing next to him in a music video. That was another controversy that came out a couple of years ago. So Todrick Hall is really no stranger to controversy. Not at all. No. Todrick... He's problematic, a little bit problematic, you know, and I think a lot of Drag Race fans tend to think, oh, Todrick's quite sort of fun and harmless, but when you actually look at all of Todrick's controversies, you're like, well, actually, he's hella problematic, hella problematic. Todrick has done quite a few things that have really kind of put people off him in the Big Brother house recently. And now the latest thing that's come out about Todrick is that he owes loads and loads of money in back payments for rent on his house in Sherman Oaks, California. It's not even his house. He doesn't own it. He rents the house from another couple and they're now demanding as well as the back payment of all the rent that he owes, which is to the tune of like $60,000. So the couple that own the home are now asking for that $60,000 from Todrick. And aside from that, they're also asking for attorney fees up to $1,000 a day. And he was served with this on March the 3rd of this year. So 2022 really so far, it's been rough for Todrick Hall. He's had all the controversy in the Big Brother house. Then he came out of the Big Brother house, refused to do any of his exit interviews. And on that note, Todrick said that he wasn't avoiding the media, he wasn't avoiding doing any of those exit interviews, but come on, you know, Todrick, he's smart, I swear, Todrick is not dumb. I mean, he looked a little dumb in that Big Brother house with all the things that he said, all the things that he let slip out of his mouth about Manila Luzon and other queens who said that, you know, he didn't pay them for a Halloween party. He went off about them saying that that wasn't the case, he did pay them. Oh, he didn't even have a Halloween party. He paid them for a shoot, a video shoot or something. You know, so he was basically just denying what the queens had said about him. And then there was also that thing about the cameo script. So, of course, Todrick was really not in public favour when he came out of the Celebrity Big Brother house. So he chose not to do any interviews. 
he says that he wasn't afraid he chose not to do the interviews because he can't change people's minds who've already made up their mind about him you know what do you do you know if you're a celebrity and you're kind of being cancelled online people have made up their mind their opinions all about you what do you do do you try and fight it do you try and say no that's not me that's not who i am or do you do what todrick did and say oh well fuck it then i just won't do any press i won't do any of my exit interviews and everyone can just be left to think what they want so it's a little bit kind of shady of todrick if you ask me to just say oh well i'm not going to do nothing i'm not going to do no interviews because i don't owe anyone shit it's like well you do todrick you know you owe your fans who've bought your music played your youtube videos bought tickets to your tour you owe those people because those are the people that keep you in the lifestyle that you're in so you owe those people who are your fans who showed up for you on tour those people who've played your videos those people who've bought your music streamed your music you owe all of those people because without them you really wouldn't have the life that you've got now i don't know that doesn't seem to enter todrick's head at all but you know despite that there's all the other stuff like i said about black dancers coming out and saying hey we were told not to stand next to todrick in his music video there's a lot of shady things with todrick hall a lot of shady things so miss todrick is in a little bit of shit right now miss todrick oh she's in trouble she's in debt so it's like wow is todrick going broke how come you didn't pay your rent are you going broke like you've been on world tours what are you spending your money on you know what i mean it's like okay did you buy like designer stuff did you spend it on your dog what did you do with the money that you earned from tour and everything else like wow you know gagged sixty thousand dollars plus a thousand dollars a day in attorney fees that's a hell of a lot of fucking money and i'm gonna leave the topic of todrick hall right there please let me know all your thoughts on this what do you think is going to happen to todrick over this whole dispute with his rent and everything like that do you think he's gonna come out and say oh you know they're lying about me or do you think he's gonna actually end up going broke going bankrupt i don't know could be could be todrick could well end up going bankrupt if he can't pay these payments and all that stuff, then what's he going to do? You know, oh, he's going to have to downsize his house. He'll have to move out of the mansion. Oh, dear. Such a shame. Boo hoo hoo. We're crying for you, Todrick. Anyway, I'm going to move on because I was really excited today when I got home from work. My Beauty Killer 2 collection had finally arrived for me. So let me show you, first of all, the palette. Now, this is the carton for the palette. If you haven't seen it yet, gorgeous silver. It is bigger than the OG. Let's just get this out for comparison. It's bigger than the OG Beauty Killer. Like width wise, it is thicker. It's a thicker palette. Look at this. It is gorgeous with this knife on it. You can see, look, if I put the two together there, you've got the OG on top here and this is Beauty Killer 2. So it's slightly thicker. And let me open this up. So the shades in here, gorgeous. It is a very kind of unusual colour story, but I think it's beautiful. I like unusual colour stories. So for me, when I saw this, I was like, yeah, I've got to have it. Look at that stunningness. So you've got 10 shades in there. I've got about five or six all over my eyes today. Of course, I've used that neon yellow which is called self-expression i've used a lot of the blow up doll pink i've used these indica bling and also the death row purples and then under my eye i used a little bit of this redemption navy blue which is just i don't know if you can see it but it's just stunning it is such a gorgeous blue and then i also used a little bit of guillotine dream that silver one just right on the inner corners there so i'm thoroughly impressed with the beauty killer 2 palette i love her i think she's a stunner i'm so so happy that i did buy this if you've got beauty killer 1 i think this is a really nice addition really nice kind of nostalgic addition to that 
and me i collect jeffree star palettes so i was always going to buy this anyway the font on it is raised it is gorgeous and then i did also actually pick up this as well i'm not sure if you can see it from there but this is the jeffree star skin face wash I've got the moisturiser and the eye cream which I've been using and really loving so I bit the bullet and bought the face wash so I'm going to actually wait like probably another two weeks use this every day and then with the moisturiser, the eye cream, the makeup remover and then I'll come back and give you guys like a proper update, proper review of the skincare so moving on this, my god, you guys, this this is the one this is the one i am so freaking impressed with this highlighter palette it is beautiful like if you saw jeffrey's video with this the reveal video honestly though having it in my hands and playing with it today look at that that you can see it right there how fucking blinding is that highlighter i love it I love it sorry I'm crazy with it but I have to say from I've had a little swatch of it and these three shades at the top are incredible especially this one called snow job I don't know if you're going to be able to see when I swatch it but it's really like there you go it's got like green and blue kind of minty minty sort of reflex in it I don't know if you can tell but it is the most stunning i'm just gagged at this shade it is incredible this highlighter palette honestly if you don't have it if you bought the beauty killer 2 palette and didn't get the highlighter palette i would say you're missing out because i really do think that this is different to other highlighter palettes that jeffrey's brought out i've got like the brain freeze one um that he did with the jawbreaker and that's got very like orangey tone highlighters in it there was a blue in there um and i've also got like the cavity palette which was a skin frost palette oh there we go and this one's cute it's got the orange and like orange you've got a rose gold color a pink and then this one which is like white with like orange reflux in it really cute but this one this ice crusher palette she is my new favourite, absolutely, just, I know like, highlighting might not be everyone's thing at the moment, it might not be the most on trend thing to do, but I, I love highlighter, I can't live without highlighter, sorry, but I'm just going to be that person who highlights every bloody day, you know, and doesn't care what anyone thinks about it, because I like it, I like the bling. And then I also did pick up two mirrors. So I think we should open one. I did pick up the pink, which I'm really, really excited for. And then I've got this one here, which is like the black. So let's open it up. Sorry, I'm trying not to tear the sticker on the box because I'm always really like gung-ho and then I end up tearing them. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, open, open. Oh! Oh bitch, oh bitch. These are iconic, I'm sorry. But who else comes out with a meat cleaver mirror? This is going to be so much fun on TikTok. Oh my god, I love it. Love it. It's a good weight as well. Not too heavy. Obsessed. Obsessed. This is going to be so much fun. And yeah, I did grab the pink one too. So I'll just show you that one in the box for now. Bitch. I'm in love. It feels like a meat cleaver knife as well. It feels cold, like metallic. Ah, oh my God. I love it. This is the best mirror he's ever made. Okay, so you're going to see me using these in all my videos now. Sorry, but you are. This is just it for me. This is everything I want from a makeup brand. Whew, big meat cleaver mirror. 
obsessed. Okay, my loves, I'm going to leave this little video right here. I'm going to say take care, stay safe, stay well. Let me know all your thoughts on the Todrick Hall drama. And also, let me know all your thoughts on the Beauty Killer 2 collection. I am in love with it. In fucking love. But let me know your thoughts and I'll see you very soon on the next video. Take care. Love you so much. Thank you for watching. Bye.